and welcome to UHC Tips and Tricks. So I've finally gone around to making the first episode of this series, and I'm going to be trying to make these as often as I can. Um, by the way, please mind that I'm still trying to like improve the quality of the series more and more as I go, and suggestions are always appreciated in the comments below. But anyways, let's get straight into the first topic of this episode, which is your first day, or first 15 minutes really, in a UHC, wherever you play. I'm going to be talking a lot in context of Badline, but really this works for any server. The only thing that would be different is border camping when I mentioned that. But I'll try to keep these as broad as possible when it comes to what server you play on UET on, but also try to dive into popular techniques exclusive to some servers. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is figuring out where you've spawned and what your surroundings are. Most likely, if you're playing a Badline UT, here you're going to have to make the decision of either border camping or snowballing. So border camping is when you decide to mine for around an hour and hitting up to the limits of the map at 2500, 2500 to fight and wait for players there. But that's for another video. Snowballing is like the snowball effect, you go to the center of the map at 0-0 and kill more and more players to get stacked as you go until you're geared enough to take the majority of the game. And that's pretty much what you decide then and there. You don't want to make that choice like in the middle of the game because that can really make a toll on time limit you have and everything, so make the decision then. Depending on the biome you've spawned, you want to make sure you can get to an oak tree which is the only tree that drops apples as quickly as possible to get stone tools made. As soon as you get a tree, chop down four logs and that's all you're really going to need for the first few minutes. Turn the logs into 16 planks and make one crafting table, a few sticks, and save at least four planks for a wooden pick and a wooden shovel. The shovel really isn't that useful, you're just going to have an extra plank by the time you make your tool, so that's I guess some use for it. Next, go ahead and grab some stone by either finding stone nearby or just digging down and make your stone tools. Now that you have the basic items for the first day, you're going to want to get these five essential before you head down into the gate. These five essentials are sugarcane, leather, food, apples, and wood. First, sugarcane is usually found in ponds or rivers nearly anywhere in the map, but make sure to make this and leather your top priority in early game because later on it might run out or you might take a long time trying to find it. Next is leather. Leather is obtained from simply killing cows or horses that you can find naturally anywhere on the surface. And if you choose cows, you can always get food, which is essential number three. And number three, like I said, is food. If you don't find any cows, Still be sure to kill either pigs or chickens for food and feathers from the chickens. And number four, we have apples. Apples is what you need to be able to craft golden apples and to really just heal. So yeah, these are important. Be sure to get around five to eight by just chopping down a nice group of oak trees. Swamps are best when trying to get apples. Number five, we have wood. If you get apples, you're getting wood. What I usually aim for is 32 logs and depending on how many apples I get from that, I keep going. So just keep going until you have that good spot, sweet spot of like five to eight apples. For all of this, you should aim to have it all done for around 9 minutes into the game. If there's not a timer, be sure to maybe like look at your computer clock and just try to time yourself. And if you don't get it, that's fine. You might take a little bit longer getting everything planned. And in the end, luck has a big factor in UET. Once you have all these things done, you've pretty much done everything when it comes to resources on the first day. Now it's time to figure out one last time if you're border camping or snowballing. If you're snowballing, aim to be around a thousand blocks near zero zero, but still around a good untouched area for lone caves to so make sure just look around see if any trees are chopped down if you've seen any players recently and if you have just walk away until you really don't see anyone anymore if you take forever just dig down but if you're border camping try to have one cord near the border but other one can really be anywhere as long as you can remember to head up early depending on where you are i'll touch more on caving and the best spots for caving on a future video all right, if you've done all this, pat yourself on the back because you've had a successful first day in UET, but don't get too excited because there's a lot more factors into UET. But that's all I'm going to cover for this video now. Thank you guys so much if you listened through this video, and if this video helped you in any way, feel free to comment down below. And if this video helped you in any way, feel free to comment down below and give the video a like. I'd really appreciate it. I'll try to keep improving the quality of the series as we go. In the next video, I'll most likely be touching on caving in UET. So until then, have a good one. Thanks for watching.